In today's video, I'm going to be covering Canva versus CapCut to help you decide which is the best video editing software for your needs. Now, they're both free video editing softwares that can be used online. So I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each so you can get the most informed decision on which one you should try. So if you want to find out which one to use, make sure to watch the end of the video so you can get the best decision. So first of all, here we are inside of Canva. And Canva looks, well, it's primarily a photo editing software. So you can see that it kind of looks like that. But I'm going to show you the features for video editing first. So the first thing you can see on, this, on the left here is there are these little, little tabs here. So you've got design, elements, text, brand, upload, draw, projects, and apps. So design basically has all these little templates on that you can use. So I click on this, for example, and it's going to give me a template which I can edit. And you can see it looks very professional. This would be a great channel intro. So if I put easy L here, it looks very good. You can already see it looks very professional. So there's a lot of templates here, like so many templates you can use, which are going to make your production look so much more professional than if you were just, you know, making it on Premiere Pro, for example, because these are already presets that look good. So alongside that, you also have this tab called Elements. And Elements allows you they're basically just like photos, stuff like that, which you can use for free. So we, we have a search bar here where we can search anything we want to, or we can go ahead and click a category. So I'm going to click Videos, and let's just add this video here. You can see I can add it over, uh, as an overlay onto the template, or I can add it in a new tab here. And then if I wanted to over the top, I could add some text. We've got the text tool here. So I could say, hello guys. We've got a lot of customization with the text. Um, so we can change the font. We can change the size, the color. We can put a cross through it. We can, you know, there's, there's a ton of different things here that you can do. So, you know, it's quite user-friendly in this regard. And they also have a lot of presets here, which make it look good. So if I click glow here, Oh, I was going to put a new one. But you get what I mean. There's a ton of presets here which make it look very professional. And if you're just trying to do something simple, this is, you know, really, really a great way to go because the presets already look great. That's the, that's basically the main three features of Canva. We also have the app section down here. And with the app section, we can pr basically just you know, put some things from different apps in here so we can use AI powered stuff. Maybe you want uh, some AI actors. Maybe you want some, you know, some sketches turned to art. There's a ton of different apps here that you can use. And this is quite a good feature for, you know, if you're not very good at maybe doing art yourself, you can get AI to do it and it, you can implement it straight into here. So let's talk about CapCut next. When we jump into CapCut, the first thing you'll notice are that we have these templates here. And you can see these templates look very trendy. They're in um, portrait mode, of course. And the reason for that is because these are made by the same company that makes TikTok. So these templates are kind of designed for TikTok and they're usually the ones that are trending at the moment. So what you can do is you can, you can have a look here at the different templates they have. And you can go ahead and click on one that you like and you can customize it. So let's say that we liked this one here. We can click on it and then it's going to customize, well, we're going to be able to customize this template. So you can see that similarly to Canva, the layout looks the same. You know, you've got your videos here at the bottom. You can play it here. And then down the side, we have our different uploads. Now, one thing I'd say about this is there's way less customization. So you can see here we've got photos, audio, stock videos, templates, media. We, we, we mess out on a ton of things like the text. We mess out on elements. We mess out on apps. There's a ton of features that are missing here. But one thing to take in mind is it depends on your needs. So CapCut is designed for short form a lot more. It's designed to work really well with TikTok and stuff like that. So if you're looking to make TikToks, then CapCut is going to be a great option because all the templates are here and they're going to look professional. They're going to look high quality. Whereas Canva, although it doesn't have um, these sort of templates here, it does have more business and branding templates. So if you're having something a bit more corporate, a business, something like that, 
then Canva is probably going to be a better option. I'd recommend CapCut if you are making short form content, you're trying to make cool edits and you don't need too much customization. You just want to use the templates and sort of just, um, you know, click and go with them really. You can just simply edit them. It's very simple to use and it's easy to export. They're both quite easy to export. One more thing is they both do have paid plans and they both have free plans. So the difference there you know they're basically the same on the sort of price front you can use them both for free but if you want to use some of the more advanced features on both of them you're going to have to pay for that but that's basically what i would say about the difference between them and which one you should use use canva if you're trying to be corporate business-like and you need a little bit more customization in those areas use capcut if you want to make tiktoks that kind of stuff and you want it to be fun and look professional in that regard but that's basically the difference between them if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that this video helped. Thank you for watching.